True History of Humanity, The Second Coming of Christ, Father Absolute. Today we'll speak with you about the reptiloids. Now when you know the true history of humanity, it would be easier for you to understand what is happening on earth. It is very sad to admit, but despite all the efforts of the higher powers to free humanity from the power of the reptiloids, who are solidly entrenched on earth, despite numerous spiritual deeds performed by great souls, who had come to earth at different times and in different countries, reptiloids could hold on their power. And not only hold on the power, but to strengthen it. Why had it happened? The truth is, dear ones, that these beings do not have divine souls, which means they lack those subtle organs of feelings, which human beings possess, who have many nuances and shades of feelings such as consciousness, honor, worthiness, compassion, empathy, tact, gentleness. Of course, a person living on earth is subject to many emotions, because the world of duality is filled with negative energies. And they draw people in like a funnel, depriving them of the opportunities to live in joy and harmony with themselves and with the world. Nevertheless, human beings possess a certain inner barrier, a deep realization of their divinity, which does not allow them to step over the line, behind which starts godlessness. But the reptiloids lack such a barrier, because their souls have different nature, which is based on ego with only material needs, and on the division of everyone as us and strangers. It happens because their upper chakras, which unify humans with God, are blocked, and they are not capable of the generosity of the spirit and unconditional love. Reptiloids had worked tirelessly according to the program, installed in them by their masters, the dragon race. The essence of the program was to enslave the consciousness of the people, to kill their divine origin, and to make people their servants. And this is the truth, dear ones, which you need to know in order to resist the occupants of your earth who, in contrast to you, do not have any moral rules or barriers. They are the generators of all kinds of negative energies, because this is their main fuel, without which they simply cannot exist. They draw this energy from the most different sources, taking charge in media, placing their representatives in the positions of power in TV, radio, creating social media networks on the internet, this universal web where an undeveloped young souls are caught. They seduce people, imposing false concepts about life, and forcing them to pursue material values, in detriment to the spiritual ones. And we must admit that they do that very subtly, skillfully and deviously. The final goal of their actions is to transform people into the faceless uniform masses, who could easily become subjects to the stereotypical thinking and behavior imposed on them. And in order to reach these goals, they don't stop at anything. They kill people with GMO products, artificially created vaccinations, expensive medications, which not only don't help people, but, on the contrary, decrease their immunity and create many illnesses. In such a way, they try to artificially regulate the population of Earth, making a huge amounts of money at the same time. All the financial institutions are in the hands of reptiloids for a long time, which means they have power, because in the world of duality money and power are indivisible. But their worst crime against humanity is in the chipping that started everywhere, which means robotization of the people that allows complete control over them. We cannot wait any longer. And we believe, dear ones, that the second coming of Christ, which we'll address in the following messages, would save you and your earth from perishing. We'll stop here today. Father Absolute and Mother of the Universe, who love you without measure, spoke with inconsequential. Dad? You don't have to like it, or even agree, but this is a reptilian, shape-shifting baby. And what I'm telling you is they don't let children or babies go home from the hospital that look like this. If they're sick or have some sort of disease, they're going to put them in an incubator and pump them with all kinds of anti-this and anti-that. And अगर मैं नहीं होता ना तो बच्चे का बड़ा प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है यार कैसे हुआ यार सुन तो जी दिख रहा है कभी कभी ना वो हो जाता है ना तभी होता है क्या बाबू अरे खोलो ना इसको क्या बाबू ए बाबू बेटा ओ कहाँ ना सब प्रॉब्लम है यार इसके
आपको जब इसको डिलीवरी करवाया ना तब तो मैं टन था वीडियो कर रहे If you look it up, you'll see that miners, while looking for gold in Los Angeles, they came across underground cities with reptilians and secret passageways and everything. And this goes back, you know, almost a hundred years ago, people. This is in your face 24/7. You have a reptilian core to your brain. You are one of them. You see here, Justin Bieber shapeshifted into a reptilian while greeting fans who had waited for him to arrive at Perth Airport, Australia, according to hundreds of witnesses who took. to social media and were interviewed by local press after the incident. seven and a half feet tall. They have beaded skin like a lizard or scaled skin like a serpent. They have uh, the physical form of a humanoid. Usually they don't see any ears or anything. It could be just flat along the sides of their heads or small pinholes. They have a very flat nose. They have eyes that are very almond shaped with vertical slit pupils, which is very disturbing for people to see. Um, they have sometimes ventricle ridges that go up over the sides of their heads that sometimes they actually come off their, uh, their, their heads by about a half an inch from an angle. This must look like horns laying across the, their back of their skull. Uh, they have three fingers with an opposable thumb. Sometimes the claws can be long and sharp. Sometimes they can be blunted almost like a dog's and dark colored. Uh, their legs have been very well pronounced muscularly. Um, they also have uh, feet that have been seen to be have three toes with a receded fourth up near where we would have an ankle. And some of them have been seen with tails, but most of the time they're seen without tails. Humanoid reptiles. Former American President Dwight D. Eisenhower had three secret meetings with aliens, a former U.S. government consultant has claimed. The 34th President of the United States met the extraterrestrials at a remote airbase in New Mexico in 1954, according to lecturer and author Timothy Good. Eisenhower and other FBI officials are said to have organized the showdown with the space creatures by sending out telepathic messages. The two parties finally met up on three separate occasions at the Holloman Air Force Base and there were many witnesses. Conspiracy theorists have circulated increased rumors in recent months that the meeting between the Commander-in-Chief and people from another planet took place. But the claims from Mr. Good, a former U.S. Congress and Pentagon consultant, are the first to be made publicly by a prominent academic. Speaking on Frank Skinner's BBC2 Current Affairs show Opinionated, he said that governments around the world have been in regular contact with aliens for many decades. Aliens have made both formal and informal contact with thousands of people throughout the world from all walks of life, he added. Asked why the aliens don't go to somebody important like Barack Obama, he said, Well, certainly I can tell you that in 1954, President Eisenhower had three encounters, set up meetings with aliens, which took place at certain Air Force bases including Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. He added that there were many witnesses. Eisenhower, who was president from 1953 to 1961, is known to have had a strong belief in life on other planets. The former five-star general in the United States Army who commanded the Allied forces in Europe during the Second World War was also keen on pushing the U.S. space program. His meeting with the cosmic life forms is said to have taken place while officials were told that he was on vacation in Palm Springs, California, in February 1954. The initial meeting is supposed to have taken place with aliens who were Nordic in appearance, but the agreement was eventually signed with a race called Alien Greys. Mr. Good added, We know that up to 90% of all UFO reports can be explained in conventional terms. However, I would say millions of people worldwide have actually seen the real thing. According to classified documents released by the Ministry of Defense in 2010, Winston Churchill may have ordered the UFO sighting to be kept secret. The UFO was seen over the east coast of England by an RAF reconnaissance plane returning from a mission in France or Germany towards the end of the war. Churchill is said to have discussed how to deal with UFO sightings with Eisenhower.